Galleria Vittoria Emanuele II is one of the world's oldest shopping malls. It is also known as Il Salito di Milan, Milan's living room, a favorite meeting place for Milanese. Housed within a four-story double-cade in central Milan, the Galleria was named after Victor Emmanuel II, the first king of the Kingdom of Italy. It was designed in 1861 by Giuseppe Mengoni and built between 1865 and 1877. In 1860, the local government of Milan launched a competition for the redevelopment of a historical area between Milan Cathedral and Scala Opera House. The monumental design, a large-scale, glass-covered arcade by Bologna's architect Giuseppe Mengoni was selected. The first stone was laid on March 7, 1865 by King Victor Emmanuel II. The building's construction began with prefabricated cast iron and glass roof while wooden frames were used for the dome. Stucco decorations were applied to the building, marble mosaic floors were laid, and paintings were added. The project went smoothly and the Galleria was officially inaugurated on September 15, 1867. Since the Galleria is one of Milan's most popular attractions, the place is constantly crowded with locals and tourists, the latter often snapping pictures or grazing at the spectacular architecture. Others window shop at the upscale stores or take a break at one of the Galleria's cafes and restaurants. Entrance from Piazza del Duomo is framed by a monumental triumphal arch, drawing people from the square in front of Milan Cathedral to the arcade. The Galleria connects two of Milan's most famous landmarks, Milan Duomo and Teatro alla Scala. Galleria Emanuele II comprises two walkways covered by iron and glass that is formed like a Latin cross. The longer walkway is 196 meters long, whereas the shorter one 105.5 meters. The two glass vaulted walkways intersect at an octagonal central piazza below a ground 47 meters high and 36 meters wide glass dome. Inside the Galleria, all commercial activities display an insignia with gold writing on black background. These insignia give the shop lots its elegant outlook and further enhances the building's historical values. Four distinguished painters, Carsnidi, Pariano, Giuliano and Pietre Zanta painted four large allegorical paintings using fresco method in the four lunettes, created by the dome curvature in the octagon. These four paintings represent the four continents of the world, America, Europe, Asia and Africa. The same artist also painted frescoes on golden background which represent four allegorical figures, the personifications of science, industry, arts and agriculture. Pilaster strips decorated with various stucco design raised on marble pedestal can be seen in the entire internal facade length. 24 life-sized statues of renowned Italians created by Milanese artists were placed on the base of each pilaster. The statues were sculpted to honor Italian artists and scientists that brought fame to Italy. The statues presented include Barzari's Raffaello, Magni's Machiavelli, Lanzan, Giovanni di Presida and more. Covered in enamels, the floor is a sophisticated creation of a group of Venetian artists. In the center of the central piazza, Salviati produced four magnificent mosaic emblems that represent the city of Turin, Rome, Florence and Savoy. The final decades of 18th century and early decades of 19th century are hot by the triumph of neoclassicism, a style which proposed the adaptation of Greek and Roman architecture to the needs of time. Eclectic style was predominant consisting of imitation of various style from the past, neo-baroque building. The Galleria is designed in an eclectic style with grotesque, cariati, half-moons and pilasters. This style is prominent in the second half of the 1800s in Milan.